After half past 10 last night, he peered inside to see smoke rising. Just an hour earlier, the building had been packed with bingo players. Fortunately, they'd all left and the Hippodrome was empty. <laughs> there was little the firefighters could do in the face of such a massive blaze. A very serious fire. It's engulfed the majority of the old hall. Uh, but fortunately, in the moment, we managed to stop it spreading to surrounding buildings. And uh, our firefighting tactics at the moment is to uh, withdraw and just protect the exposures. There's, uh, at present, there's quite a severe risk of collapse of some of the external walls. So it's not worth risking firefighters actually putting them inside the premises. The Hippodrome is close to Lowestoft docks, which provided the firefighters with a vital water supply. It was one of the biggest fires in the town for years. Nearby residents were forced to remove whatever property they could as surrounding buildings came under threat. Well, we're waiting to, to, get in, to get sandwiches made. As the fire intensified, police were forced to cordon off nearby roads. Onlookers watched in horror as one of Lowestoft's best-known landmarks was engulfed in flames. It's been horrendous at times and extremely nerve-wracking to watch as it seems sort of fairly calm and the next moment it just flares up again. The Hippodrome was built in 1904 and so big was the labour force that it was constructed in just two weeks. Originally a circus, it was also used as a theatre before later becoming a cinema. It was in the 60s that it became a bingo hall. At first light, the true extent of the damage and a dismal prediction for the Hippodrome's future. I think the building would be demolished uh, and I think it's the end of the Hippodrome here. Uh, it was good to see that it was used and that it didn't lose some of its character um, with the use that they put it to as a bingo hall. But uh, anything that's rebuilt will never pick up that character and there's nothing left on the inside to salvage. Fire investigation teams were hampered because the building was too unsafe to enter. Neighbouring properties had also suffered some damage. For the 50 or so staff at the Hippodrome, fears for the future. I don't know where I stand at the moment, so, you know, whether to look for another job or to, or to stay, I just don't know. I've been there quite a few years, so I just don't know what we're going to do. And disappointment too at the loss of a much-loved local amenity. Well, it is sad to know that's gone. But that's the only bit of enjoyment we get. But there's no other bingo in most of it. And the destruction of the Hippodrome is a major setback for the town's civic society. Although this one was only 1904, it still is a landmark, and many people have very happy memories of it. Uh, the town needs to keep as much of its heritage as possible, and for this to go, it's not only a loss of a building, but an amenity which people have been enjoying for many years. Tonight, fire investigation experts are still trying to piece together why such a well-known local building came to such a tragic end. Malcolm, we heard in the report that members of staff are worried about their future. What kind of reassurances are there? Well, the owner of the Hippodrome is tonight in a meeting with fire chiefs and police officers, building control inspectors as to what is the future of the Hippodrome. He did tell me earlier that staff needn't be too worried. Obviously, they are fearful about their jobs, but needn't be too worried because whatever the future of the building, his hope is to rebuild a bingo centre, if not here, somewhere in Lowestoft, and hopefully all this, the members of staff that are worried about their jobs will be redeployed there. But is there any chance of saving this building? Well, as you can see, Claire, firefighters are tonight still trying to damp down. Earlier today, they were working on two options. One was to demolish it completely. The other was actually to reduce the main wall here on Battery Green Road to about half its uh, size, but I think the longer that uh, firefighters have been at the scene today, the longer fire officers have been here, they've certainly come to the way of thinking that, uh, sadly, this building is going to have to be demolished. The wall, actually, there's nothing holding it up. It's um, 
it's very perilous at the moment, which is why they've closed off the A12. And in fact, one building inspector was telling me that even a very strong gust of wind could knock it over. So I think we're talking about really demolition in the next couple. Almost completely destroyed by fire. The Hippodrome, a popular bingo hall, was empty as the blaze swept through the building late last night. It took firefighters from two counties to control the fire. The Hippodrome, originally home to the George Gilbert Circus, opened its doors in 1904. Legend has it the building was put up in two weeks. Last night it took just a few hours to destroy it. A hundred firefighters from Suffolk and Norfolk had fought to save it, but the best they could do was stop the blaze spreading to neighbouring buildings. Some nearby residents were forced to flee their homes. Yeah, I was absolutely petrified. There was just flames everywhere. I was terrified. Never seen anything like it in my life. Hundreds of bingo players had left the building before the fire started. This morning, devastated regulars and members of staff looked on in disbelief at the damage. This is terrible. I just can't believe it. It's a nightmare. We had quite a few like regulars that come more than once a week, and it's just as yeah, it's like a little sad. family, weren't it? Really. Yeah. So a bit like crying my eyes out because because um, three years in March I won it. 81 and a half thousand there and that's it was a great win changed my life completely and it's very sad don't know what they'll do but it's very sad the hippodrome in various guises has played an important role in the life of Lowestoft. it went from a circus to vaudeville acts and then to a cinema in the 50s and then to bingo in the 60s so it has been an amenity to the town for many years Investigations into the cause of the fire were hampered this morning because of the dangerous state of the building. Experts were called in to judge whether or not the Hippodrome should be pulled down immediately. A full assessment of the damage will be carried out over the next few days, but whatever the outcome, the owner of the Hippodrome has vowed that this popular bingo hall will return and rise from the ashes. Ross McWilliam, Lukeist, Lowestoft.